Y'all take a look at this blasphemous imagery of Jesus. This is on social media. Do y'all see how they make fun of Jesus? Why there's no backlash? Why they could put this on social media? But if you mention their name, I hope y'all know who I'm talking about here. They'll delete your content, but they can mock Jesus and say what they want to say about Christianity. And there's nothing done about it. Matter of fact, it's honored, it's glorified, and it's accepted in the culture. Notice, they don't do this to any other belief but Christianity. It's always Jesus. These are sick, immoral people whose hearts fill with iniquity and wickedness. But one thing Satan won't tell them, that judgment is coming. Yeah, laugh now, but one day you're going to be judged, not by this image, but by the real Jesus. And every one of you who laugh, every one of you who mock Jesus, you're going to give account for it. This is not going to continue without Jesus interrupting y'all party. Look at this imagery. And y'all don't think there's an agenda in mind? Just take a look at this, y'all. Pay close attention. I told y'all they warn against Christianity. We are in warfare. We can't take down. We can't be quiet. We have to take a stand for Jesus in this hour. If they can do this openly, then we can rebuke them openly. Y'all keep playing, but your day is coming. Jesus not perverted like y'all. Jesus is not immoral like y'all. Jesus is holy. Jesus is righteous. So don't try to bring him down to your perverted mindset, to your wicked heart. Y'all don't even know good from evil, evil from good. That's why y'all do this. This is blasphemous at its worst. You doing this because you trying to cast down truth. But I'm here to tell you, no matter how hard you try to remove the truth, God has a remnant that's going to stand up against you all and cry loud and spare not. The quiet days are over with. The silent days for believers are over with. We come to tear down y'all altars now. We're taking a stand against unrighteousness. And we're not afraid of y'all wicked agenda. Every one of you behind these wicked images, you are immoral. This is your wicked heart. You sick, not Jesus. This is your sickness and it's manifesting. Y'all are just sick people. All of this is evil. Y'all look at this evil. This is what they think about the cross. This is what they think about Jesus. These are wicked hearted people. That's why they could do it over and over again and laugh about it. They are blind and deceived. This is the hour we are living in. No respect for God. And I'm going to say this. A lot of people in this world have made up in their mind that they going right where the devil is going. They're not going to change. Their hearts are made up that Satan is their Lord. There's a place you don't tap into. There's some things you don't do. There's some lines that you don't cross. And this person has crossed the line. They are portraying that Jesus and Satan are in a relationship. All of these images are immoral, blasphemous, and wicked. Not one of you who's behind these blasphemous images will get away. And you don't have an excuse because the Bible says God will not be mocked. It's some things you don't do out of respect. You may not agree with it. You may not like it, but you should have respect. And God is warning every one of you who behind this right here to repent and turn from your wicked ways. It's your choice. God bless you.